what's up guys welcome back to my channel so today I am gonna be filming a video on how to make vegan omelets it's something that I've seen quite a few people try to do um, but I just feel like I have a really good recipe nailed down um, Angel and I both absolutely devour them when I make it so I use a combination of chickpea flour and tofu most people go one way or the other so my measurements are basically one serving of tofu plus one fourth cup chickpea flour, one fourth cup water. Um, now I am gonna be making 10 servings because I'm gonna meal prep it, but it's basically just that same formula, you know, 10 servings of tofu. So it is exactly two packets of this, which I already cubed up and put in my blender right here. And then two and a half cups flour, chickpea flour, two and a half cups of water. Now all of my water couldn't fit in my blender so I'm just gonna blend it up with two cups of water and then add in the extra half cup into my mixing bowl. Um, this is something that you can really add in whatever fillings you want and you can do it like a traditional omelet where you cook it and then fill it. Um, but I'm just gonna mix mine in with it because it's easy and it tastes just as good. So I'm gonna be using hash browns which I already have cooking on the stove. Um, so this is exactly 10 servings, which is perfect, as well as this Go Veggie cheese, same thing, exactly 10 servings. This is Angel and I's absolute favorite cheese that I've found so far, vegan cheese, of course. Um, so we're going to use that, and then of course, some vegan butter. You can use really any vegan butter that you want, that's just the one that I have on hand. It's good, it works perfectly, and then my secret ingredient is this black salt this gives it that very like sulfuric -y, eggy taste um and i've made it tons of times without that it's not something you have to have just sub in um pink himalayan sea salt if you don't have the black salt and then one cup of nutritional yeast just because i am doing 10 servings that's why i'm doing an entire cup um you can add more or less depending on your taste angel and i just both really like it so Hence why I'm doing one cup. So yeah, like I said, I'm already gonna cook up my hash browns. Not gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do that because it's, you know, something basic, something that, and it's not something you have to add in anyway. But I will show you exactly how I do my mixture, which you can also use for a vegan quiche. Um, so let like me show I said, you. I'm gonna start off with my tofu and two cups of water in my blender, and I'm gonna blend this till completely All right, smooth. Right, guys. So I have everything in my bowl, and I forgot to mention that I also add turmeric just for a nice yellow color, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all and up. And here is it all mixed up. So I will show you once I add in the film. All right, so sorry, I think you can hear my tea kettle in the background, but this is the mixture all mixed up with the cheese and hash browns in it. Um, I just put a little thing of butter in the pan. I'm gonna let that melt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cook this up. I cooked it for three minutes on one side already. I just flipped it and I'm going to let it cook for another probably two minutes. Now I did put a lid on it for the first three minutes of cooking. Just helps to make it cook evenly. Um, so yeah, I will show you that way. Right. So for easy storage, I'm just wrapping up the omelets in some parchment paper and I'm going to stick them in the freezer. 